All right, guys, and welcome back to another GTA video, man. In this video, I basically wanted to do a discussion video. I ain't really done a discussion video in a minute, man. So in this video, man, I basically wanted to discuss some things I wanted to see in GTA 6 with all the latest rumors of it probably possibly coming out in 2025, which is a, still a long time from now. 2025, man, I'll be 29 years old when that game coming. I'll be an old man. But with that little whole thing going on and the little leaks and stuff, man, I basically just wanted to take some time and basically talk about the things I would like to see in GTA 6 for myself, man. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave it a quick like. That just let me know that you enjoying it. You, you know what I'm saying? You like some of my ideas or anything. And if you got some ideas that maybe I didn't hit on or something you would like to see in GTA Online, or even if you want to elaborate further on some things that I said in this video, then... Drop it down in the comments, man. I always read the comments. I love reading the comments. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Um, for my first, I got a list, by the way. I'm just reading off my list, and I just talk about it as I go. But for my first thing I would like to see in GTA 6 is a modern-day Vice City setting or a mix of all existing GTA cities. I know some people been saying in the past that they want Vice City, but they want, like, back in the 80s, they want a, a pass gta and for me like I, I just can't really see that working because with a modern setting you can pretty much do anything i know pretty much gta online gonna come back that's a given that's just what's gonna happen and with that if they bring it back in the past to give you restrictions say if they take it back to the 80s it just it just gives restrictions on what they can do and the creative process of just everything that they could do Rather than with a modern or futuristic type of setting, which I hope they don't do. I hope they keep it modern. But with a modern setting, it's a lot that they can do. They can bring black, black, black. Oh, my God. They can bring back plenty of things from the past or they can just add certain type of future elements to it as time progresses throughout the, 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 the lifespan of GTA 6 whenever it does come out. All right. For number two. I have more serious and aware, a more serious and well thought of story in GTA. And for this, I'm, I'm strictly talking story mode. But at the same time, online, I would like to see a more serious and well thought about story. And when I think of this, I think of something along the lines of GTA 4. GTA 4 to me had one of the best, if not the best, GTA stories of all time. To me, Grand Theft Auto 4 is the best GTA story in the Grand Theft, in the Grand Theft Auto franchise because it was just serious. I know a lot of people feel like it was too serious, it was too gritty, but that's the things I love. I love the serious vibes, how gritty it was, and it just showed you that life isn't always fair in a way. <laughs> Not trying to bring nobody down, but I'm just saying, like, I would just like a more a more serious story revolving around our character or characters or whoever we play as in the game. Just to just, you know what I'm saying? Just to give off that vibe of just great storytelling from Rockstar, which I know they can do because they did an amazing job with Red Dead Redemption. Not saying GTA 5 story is bad. I, I enjoy that story to an extent. I just really want to see more of a serious, more hit, you know, hard hitting, you know, bare bones to type story. All right. Next, I have interesting and goofy side characters and contacts. Even though I want a serious story, I don't mind seeing maybe the maybe a, maybe a lot of goofy or interesting or just wacky side characters or side mission givers, people we interact with in the world, and just crazy stuff that we see. That I, I do enjoy the humor. Or the satire of Grand Theft Auto as a as a as a franchise and Rockstar as a company, they like to throw a bunch of satire out there, put in a couple of jokes, political jokes, or just whatever going on with the world at the time. So I wouldn't mind seeing just some wacky side characters, some wacky side mission givers, just interesting people we can meet. Even not even if they're not in like the store, just how you in Grand Theft Auto Five, how you can just bump into just random people. I would like to see that, man. It's just somebody, you know, just some comedic relief into the game. It's just, that's just what it need. And, of course, I would like to see that. It's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty much a given, but if not, I would like to see just, 
Just some wacky side characters. Just some interesting people in the world. Next, I have plenty of Easter eggs and secrets. And I know a lot of people don't really talk about this when they do their wish list or their discussions about GTA 6. But for me, I if you know me, you know I love exploration in the game. I love finding out things. And it's just... It's just dope because Rockstar always give out some of the best Easter eggs and secrets that you can possibly get within a GTA game or just within any of their games. Not specifically GTA. They did a fantastic job with Red Dead Redemption, Bully, just all the different little Easter eggs that they can put in. And I would like just a lot of that and, and even some elaborate stuff, some things where we have to piece together certain things and do certain things at a certain time of the day or with a certain weather thing. Just like just... Something totally elaborate, not thought of that when you sit back and you complete it or when you see it, you'll be like, I really had to go out my way to, to do certain things to get this. And to me, that'll just be dope. That'll just make Easter eggs just a, a fantastic thing for people to see and do and explore and just be like, wow, I actually did that or I did this and this did this. Or even if it's some like Easter eggs, like say like, for the instance, the J-Pad, like, you do this Easter egg and then you get some in the game that you could have never got any other way. That'll just be dope and that'll kind of bring like bragging rights to a certain extent. All right, next, man, I have plenty of enterable buildings slash interiors. That's one thing about GTA 5 and even a lot of the older GTAs that just lacked as far as gameplay, but especially in GTA 5 because GTA 5 even ha has less enterable buildings than GTA 4 has. And I ain't saying in GTA 5, every single building has to have an interior. Every single building has to be enterable. But I would love to see, like, things that you would think could be enterable, like restaurants, certain banks, certain buildings, um, certain homes, and just, just, just like, event places, like maybe stadiums and um, the airport and just things like that, man. Things of that nature, recreational centers, just whatever they decide to add to the game. Just certain things that you would think, oh, I can just walk in there. It should be open. Like, I would love to just see plenty of different style interiors and different vibes. And I don't just want to go in someplace and it be the same bland interior, just a remake or just a copy and paste interior over and over and over again. Like, I just want to see different things, different vibes, different structures inside of interiors and buildings in the next GTA. I think that'll just make for a more authentic, open world experience and just it'll just be dope just to walk in and be like oh snap we can walk in here and see this and do this and interact with these people and this thing that'll just be dope to me so yeah enter enterable interiors interable buildings and interiors please rasta give us that all right next man i have some form of environmental destruction it don't have to be extreme like we don't have to completely blow down buildings or something but one thing i i, I definitely want to see is Maybe some maybe some minor destruction to maybe small buildings, knocking over trees. I get tired of running over a small tree in GTA 5 online or GTA 5 or just, you know what I'm saying, in the game period, in GTA period, to just get completely stopped as if my $30 million, uh, half ton, million, one ton, two ton, three ton, four ton tank can't <laughs> get stopped in this track by this little medium medium tree it don't make sense i i get stopped in the track my my suv get stopped in the track of a bush it, it don't make sense like it's weird like when you go to Cayo perico you're on a dirt bike but your your your, your dirt bike gets stopped by some leaves in your way like it just it, it's just weird to me man i would like to be able to blow up maybe small buildings or little shacks and stuff like that and get that stuff out the way destroy all types of 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 plants and stuff just get that stuff out the way man and like i said if they do go insane and we can blow whole buildings down like hey the more the merrier i'm not finna deny that that'd be fun to see we can change up the whole landscape of the game think about you in the shootout with somebody and you behind a building or a little shack and they blow the whole building up you'd be looking crazy like <laughs> that'd be funny no cap i would like to see that all right the next one i have diverse weather system or seasons um, when I say diverse weather system, I don't mean just like rain. I know they're going to have like rain, thunderstorms, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. But when I say diverse, I mean like if we have a thunderstorm, like maybe like a tornado or we next to a beach, maybe we can see a tsunami or 
or just something insane. Maybe we can have some snowstorms. Like I said, with seasons, we can have seasons. Like in the fall season, you can get possible crazy snowstorms. Or if you, if they have like a, a a desert biome, you can have insane sandstorms and sand, like stuff like that, man. Like just just like some crazy. Nah, I ain't gonna say something crazy like maybe like flooding or something. But if they could do that too, that'd be dope. But just some like insane where you go outside and you be like, whoa, what the crap is going on? And it, maybe if you get too close with a to a tornado, it actually suck your car up or something into the tornado. Next thing you know, you flying umpteen amount of miles an hour into the sky because of a tornado that just touched down out of nowhere. It'll just be dope. Like I said, I don't know. Maybe for online, maybe they are, you know. When they if they bring out the online or when they bring out the online, maybe tone back a little bit because it'd be insane. You driving around in your brand new supercar and a tornado come down and destroy your stuff. So maybe tone down, tone it down a little bit for online. But for story, man, go all out. Just make sure it makes sense and it's just not too random or it happens too often. But I would like to see that. And like I said, I would like to see seasons too: summer, fall, winter, spring. I would like to just see all that, bro. That'd be dope. It'll just add more realistic elements to the game, but also something fun and fresh and new. All right, guys, for the next one, I have diverse side activities in, in games, like mini games. Like, like I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I don't know if it's just me, but me, I, ever since San Andreas, I always wanted basketball to come back to GC as a side game as, or, as, or as a side activity. I always wanted to be be able to just go back and hoop and like like I said stuff like with the battle of gay Tony. I always wanted to be able to go clubbing and actually interact with the club and dance with people and have drinking games and be able to pass out. Maybe dance with a girl and you dance with her and she end up liking you and you take her in the bathroom and you know what I'm saying you go and you go handle your business. You know what I'm saying? you go handle you go handle your business. I, I would like to see that, man. Just different type of things, bro. Just like I said, basketball is something that come to mind. Nightclub and something that come to mind. Drinking games is something that come to mind, man. Just different things. Hunting, fight clubs. Another thing from Battle of Gay Tony. Being able to go into fight clubs and in online, we can fight against each other and maybe put our GTA dollars. Maybe you have some side bidding going on. Like, hey, I bet, you know what I'm saying? I beat you up and we bet $30,000 on it on the side or something like that, man. That'll be lit. I ain't going to lie to y'all. That'll be lit. And if they add that, y'all boys ain't finna see me in that ring. I'm going to beat you. I'm telling you. I'm going to beat you. Watch. Watch. I'm telling you. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> but, yeah, man, just some crazy, fun side activities for all types of people, man. Like I said, like I said think about if they add mud sliding or something in GTA. All right? Keep playing. I'm telling you. That'll be tight. All right, guys. And the next one, this one is kind of a given. Like, this rock star, this one is kind of a given. But I'm going to put it on there anyway just because it's on the list. And the next thing is insane graphics and attention to detail. Yep. Like I said, this is pretty much a given. But, man, I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. I be looking at some of these little, like, 8K resolution, ray tracing, GTA Online videos and stuff. I actually reacted to Enters. I'm subscribed to him as well. I actually reacted to one of his videos on the channel, man. I be looking at them graphics. I be like, God dang. I, I would love to see graphics of that quality in the next GTA game with just a, a ton of attention to detail. Just I can't even explain certain stuff, but just attention to detail, just looking at something, I'll be like, wow, they actually put this in the game. Why wow, they actually paid attention to this type of attention to detail and that type of attention to detail. Just some stuff that like completely blow your mind. Things you don't even think about in the video game that they put in the video game that'll just be like, whoa, like, come on, man, that's dope. Like, I never would even thought to put that in the game myself. But the fact that they did it is insane. It can be something simple. Like, if you open a refrigerator and the light come on in the video game, like, come on, man, like, who, like, what? It go off when you close it and, and come on when you open it. Like, you ain't thinking about that stuff, but if they put that in the game and you see it, you would be amazed. I know I would. Let the light come on in the, and let me be, first of all, let me be able to open a, a refrigerator in the video game. It's up, I'm telling you. 10 out of 10 game right there. All right, guys, for the next one, another one that's pretty much a given, or I ain't gonna say a given, but this is something I think everybody want. Rockstar, no insane futuristic vehicles. Please don't brand all Preston Mark II back to GTA 6. Don't get me wrong. I, 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 I'm all right with it in GTA 5. Like, if they take it out the game, I ain't going to be mad. Just reimburse me my money because I bought one too. But no no oppressors. None of this 
super super futuristic vehicles and all this weaponized stuff. Keep the game G. Keep it original. I don't mind certain things. I don't mind jets. I don't mind tanks and all that stuff. But oppressive Mark II's, Mark I's, and all this other stuff. I don't even mind mind the Mark II weapons. You know what I'm saying? Like explosive rounds and stuff. I don't mind that. But all this extra futuristic stuff, all these drones and stuff. Like I said, if 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 you can work around with it the right way, then maybe. But just oh, like futuristic vehicles, I don't want to see that at all. Like in, in no way. Like keep that. You know what I'm saying? Keep that for Saints Row. You know what I'm saying? That's fun. But keep it for a, a more wackier game. I want this game to be based and have a real structure. None of this wacky stuff, bro. Keep it G for real. Keep it G. All right, next, guys, I have in-depth property and businesses to buy. And this for GCA store and online. I want an in-depth property, and I want in-depth businesses. And when I say in-depth, I'm going to start off with properties. When I say in-depth, I want to be able to, let's just say I buy a mansion or something. When I say in-depth, I want to, and I don't want to sound like some type of Sims player. I don't play Sims. I never play I think I played Sims once in my life or something like that with my girl. But anyway, like to be able to design your home, not really design the home, but maybe decorate it is more so what I'm saying. Decorate the home. I think I said this in the expanded and the hands, but decorate the home, make it yours. When I walk in here and I just, and I look around, I'm like, I made this in mine. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we go out and buy the furniture. You have a, a, a menu and we can buy the furniture. We our website, we can buy furniture it automatically gets sent to our, our home in some type of inventory, and we can de- we can decorate it and place things where we want to place it and put things where we want to put it. So, like I said, it'll just be different, and everybody, you don't walk in everybody home and online, it'll be the same. Or in your story, you can walk in and store money and be like, I did this, this is mine. I decorated this this way or this way or that way. And, you know what I'm saying? We can really see some type of creative minds and stuff. And it'll just be dope. And as far as, like, business, I really don't know how we could make business more in depth but y'all y'all some fantastic minds at rockstar i know y'all can figure it out one thing i can say give us better missions better sell missions don't don't come back with the motorcycle club type missions no more we don't need them the missions trash i'm telling you we don't need that give us something else or you know what i'm saying make it you know what i'm saying make us hire some people and fire some people or, you know what i'm saying something like that like make it organic make it in depth and make it interesting you know what I'm saying? It don't have to be super realistic, but just make it interesting. Make it something people want to do. If they even have businesses when GTA 6 Online first release, if they have all this type of stuff. I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. It'll be dope to see it. All right, next, man, I got interact with NPCs in more diverse ways. And when I say this, I'm really talking more so story mode, but even if our online characters can do it as well, that'd be dope. Like how they got in GTA, you can talk to them and interact with them, antagonize them, you know what I'm saying, speak highly of them or ask them the time. You really don't have control over what you ask them, but you can greet them or antagonize them, something like that. Well, maybe, you know, because I don't know if y'all know this, but NPC be talking to us mighty crazy. I don't know if y'all ever noticed how NPCs talk to us in GTA, they be talking us crazy. Like we be, we we just be trying to walk across the street. And these boys are beeping us and be like, "You crazy? You crazy hell?" I mean, one time a dude told me I ain't got, I ain't got the sense God gave a rock. Like you know what I'm saying? Like bro, one NPC really told me, you know, I had to do something to him. I had to, uh, he, I'm gonna just say he is no longer with us. That's all I'm gonna say. But I would like to be able to interact with him a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? He tell me something like that. I be like, nigga, you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't whoop do whoop do whoop. Whoop de whoop, and not even in mean ways. You know what I'm saying? I always want to be able to, I ain't gonna count. This just me. This might be a little weird. Don't judge me. But I always wanted to kind of be able to do the, the, the Mac on the little the little ladies in GTA. Maybe get their little number and stuff. Like that'd be hard. I'm telling you. Think about it. Think about you being a little player in Grand Theft Auto. A player now. Nah. All the little wimps. All right, man. I'm gonna go on to the next. Y'all ain't hear me. Not for real. Y'all ain't listening to me. All right, next, man. I got a form of choice. Or mission diversity. One thing about GTA that they always had, they always had such a structured gameplay. It's just go here, do what we say, don't do nothing else, or you fail the mission. Or go here, shoot this person, go back. You know what I'm saying? Go here, get this, kill them. You know what I'm saying? I would like to have more mission diversity. I would like to be able to tackle missions in different ways or do a mission another way or, or choose 
or have more choice. Rather, like if I, you know, what I'm saying I can, I can choose to spare somebody, and it's my choice. I can choose to spare them, and maybe that that re, that interaction to have a, a reaction. Or if I choose to kill them, this will happen. Stuff like that, like something that'll just make the game insane. Like it ain't got to be one of them games where is where you pick all these different choices and you got thirty different endings. It ain't got to be all that. But just more, especially with just mission design, just give us more ways to tackle missions and more choices during our missions. I would like to see that, man. That'd be dope. In, in, in online and offline, we could just have different ways to tackle missions and just pick different outcomes to different things. And those outcomes have their own consequences, good or bad. I just think that'd be dope to see in GTA 6, if possible. Next, and this one is pushing it. And, and for me, I feel like I'm the only person that feels this way. But I'm going to say it. And I'm going to keep pushing for it until they do it. Or until they tell me we ain't doing it. Stop asking for it before I smack you. Real cars. <laughs> real vehicles. Real ones. Real ones. I don't, I don't know. I understand it's like a licensing thing. And they don't want to have to pay these folks. But, man, this is a multi-billion dollar company. Man, you telling me you can't pay these folks a few dollars, you know what I'm saying, hit them up a few chains so I can get me a real Lamborghini Huracan in the game so I can get me a real Bugatti Devo and I ain't got to ride True Friday? Come on, man. Y'all just don't know. To me, if they just put real cars in GTA, real actual cars, that's a whole new game to me. Right? Real talk, no cap. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Real talk. You walking down the street, you fresh off... The boat or whatever we're going to do in GTA City, we fresh out the plane and the first car you see is a real life demon, a real life charge of Hellcat or something. Not, not the Hellfire, the Hellcat. The real one. Man, you taking that. Like, I'm taking that, bro. I don't care. That's my car. <laughs> I can be able to pay for that. Like, I'm telling you, bro, real life cars in GTA will make the game brand new. It'll be a totally different game, bro. I'm telling you. You ain't even thinking about it, but I am. I'm telling you. That'll just, man, all right. Y'all sleep. Real cars in GTA, I'm telling you. Brand new game. Y'all ain't, you will see vehicles, planes, all that. Not even just cars. I'm just saying cars because it's mostly cars. But real life, anything. Boats, vehicle, airplanes, even weapons. Let me get a real AK. Man, real life. Come on. Y'all can do it. I know y'all can. Y'all got that bread. All right, guys. Next, man, I have story mode DLC. Or if we can't get story mode DLC, Let's get a story. Let's get story style online DLCs. I really want to see story DLC return because Battle of Gay Tony and Lost of the Damage GTA 4 was some of the best DLCs to this day of our times. They're probably still top 10 DLCs of the 2000s. The two is definitely probably top five, top three DLCs of the 2010s because DLCs was weird. <laughs> It was just weird, man. But even if we can't, because I know Rockstar, they a company, they got to make money. So they're going to pretty much focus on online just because of how great GTA 5 online is doing and continue to doing and has done. If we can't get it in story mode, then I would love to see online really have its own story. And the DLCs continue our story in a way. And it all connects like once GTA, once we get done with GTA 6, whether I'm 50, 60 years old or however, if I'm still here on this earth, and once they get done and we start moving on to GTA 7 or whatever they decide to call it, even if they call this GTA, GTA 6, when I look back at that game, at that online, and I can, we can all put it together. It, it'll be a story. We'll have, we'll be able to put it together, piece it together. We did this to get this action and that action did this thing. And throughout all the DLCs, it just all wrapped up into one thing. That'd be dope. Like, I, I, that'd be dope. It'll just, I know it's kind of storytelling for our online character. A lot of people want their online character to have their own story. And you can role play like that. I do it as well. Because like I said, my Red Dead Redemption online character is the great, great, great granddad of my GTA online character and all type of stuff. It's weird. I'm weird. But just to have a, a story, that'd be dope. That's just me. I, I like I, li I like story stuff. That's just me. I, if they can do it, do it, please. And last, but certainly not least, Rockstar, please give us any information of this game. Please. Anything. Y'all working. I mean, some things is just a given. Like, working. y'all working on it, that's pretty much we know. Y'all definitely working on the game. 
Y'all definitely brainstorming, if not already have your, 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 your script ready. You know what you're doing. You know where it's going to be. You know who the characters is. You know what the actor's going to be. Just come on, man. Just let us know some 2025. Even if it is 2025, ain't nothing we can do about it. We'll be mad, but at the end of the day, when 2025 get here and they come out, we all, we all, come on. Y'all gonna shut the world down when y'all drop this game, man. But let us know something. Y'all gonna shut the world down if y'all just tell us any type of information. I feel like they know that. That's why they don't say anything. They know the day that they say anything, the world gonna stop. Everybody gonna be on, everybody gonna be on social media and the internet and YouTube. Man, folks, grandma is gonna be doing, man, come on, man. That's going to be dope, but please, can we get some type of information, just a little bit? Just tell us, like, y'all officially working on the game. Just let us know where the game is set. I would like to even see that. Y'all don't have to give us a, a, a release date or a release time or a release time frame. Just let me know where the game is officially set. Tell me some some tidbits of the game. From, from the mouths of Rockstar, I want to be on the Rockstar News. Why I don't want nobody leaking it. I don't want nobody, oh, he's he's this and he's that and he a good leaker. He leaked this, this, and that. Yeah, that's cool. That's fine. That's okay. I ain't mad at you. But something from the horse's mouth would be dope. And with that, that's just all I'm going to say on that. But, guys, that's the end of my list. Um, Like I said in the beginning, man, if you have... Some things that you would like to add, add it in the comment section. Or if you guys, if I said some things that you guys would like to elaborate on a little further or just anything, man, drop it down in the comment section, man. I read all the comments. I interact with all the comments. And like I said, just drop them down. I would like to hear your thoughts on GTA 6, how you feel about GTA 6, what you would like to see. It just anything. If you're mad at the release date, you're happy about the release date, how old will you be? If it do come out in 2025, how old would you be? Me, I'm going to be 29. I'm going to be an old man. I was 17 when GTA 5 came out. I was still in high school. I ain't even graduated high school yet. I'm 20. I'm going to be 25 years old in exactly one week from now. I'm recording this video on July, 7, on July 11th. My birthday is on the 18th. So exactly one week, I will be 25 years old. The game came out when I was 17. But yeah, man, drop that down in the comment. If you like the video, leave it a like. It mean a, 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 a lot, a, a ton to me. But as always, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. All the support y'all drop on this video is highly appreciated. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, be easy. Take care.